Hi everybody, it's Mr. Stewart here with a video to help you get your student folder set up in Google Drive. So at this point, you um, will have already sent your email address to Mrs. Stewart with the Google account connected to it, and she will have given that to me. And then I will send you out an invitation to collaborate uh, with your student folder. And this is what uh, that invitation will look like. It uh, will be an email and you'll get it and it will say, uh, chat at animationfreelance.com has invited you to contribute to the following shared folder. Now this name right here will be your name and that is the folder's name. And that will be your student folder for the, uh, for the entire course. And uh, sometimes you'll get more than one if you're enrolled in two classes at the same time. Uh, but that will be usually your name with the animation course or your name with the drawing course uh, next to it. So there'll be a, a difference there. So once you get this invitation to collaborate, you'll want to hit the little open box. So you can control click and it will open up a web page here. And it will look something like this. And uh, this is Google Drive. Now, some people will be familiar with Google Drive and some people um, will not. So I'm just going to assume that you don't have a whole lot of experience. Um, you'll see here that this says shared with me. Now this uh, coincides with this list here. Now, if I click on my drive, you'll see that my student folder isn't in here and it feels a little bit off. It should be there. And, uh, and you're right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this shared with me option if you um, don't see it already. Uh, and it might look a little bit different. You can change the look from list view to grid view and either way is fine. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to want to right click on the folder and then pick the add to my drive option. And when you do, now you'll go to my drive and you'll see that your folder is there, uh, whether it's in list view or whether it is in uh, grid view. And so uh, this is going to be, um, now once it's in your drive, it's going to be much easier to uh, access and it's going to be easier to share and upload and download uh, different um, files, assignments and, and reviews. So a um, couple more things to, uh, to think about, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour here. Um, sometimes people have some difficulties uh, viewing and sharing. Um, Google can sign you into multiple accounts at the same time. And uh, so if you go over here to the Google account uh, and you click on this, you'll see there are a number of different accounts I have um, with, uh, with Google. Uh, in order to share and make everything share uh, the easiest, you'll want to sign out of every account except the one that you're using to with the class. Now, that's kind of a pain, but um, if you ever get the error, like it, it says you don't have permission or access, then that's what's going on, is it is it is not allowing you, even though you're signed in with, with one account that you're allowed to, if you're signed in with another account that you're not shared with, it's going to, um, it's going to cut it off. So if you ever see that, um, have that error, um, that's, that's not a problem. Just sign out of all your accounts, sign only into the one that you're using with our class, and then you should have access again. And if you have any problems with that, you can email me at chad at the and I will uh, walk you through that. Now, the, uh, the next thing we'll go over is the folder itself. So if you open up the folder, you'll see inside is going to be um, your course folder. So in this case, it's the animation course level one. Um, and uh, inside that folder are going to be all of your assignment folders. These are all of the different folders that you'll turn your work in. So you're never going to need to create any folders. In fact, you shouldn't create any folders. You also shouldn't change the name of any of these folders because the graders are going to have access to this. Um, I'm going to have access to this. And if you start changing names, uh, it is going to 
um, change um, the uh, change the uh, functionality on the grader's end and on my end. So you don't want to move the folder anywhere other than your drive. You don't want to organize it, put it in a different folder. Um, just leave it as it is and, and it should uh, work just fine. Now, um, so when you open up one of these folders, sometimes you'll see this little um, desktop.ini. That is just an artifact of uh, the upload process. A lot of times it's not there, but if it ever is, it's no, it's no big deal. You can remove it or you can leave it there, um, and it's not going to, uh, it's not going to cause any problems. Now, uh, here you see uh, inside your week uh, two folder, any folder, you're going to see a review folder. And that review folder is where you will access your video review once it's done. Now, a lot of times students like to go into that folder and, uh, and put their uh, work in that review folder. We really don't want you to do that. Um, it's not designed for that. It's designed for the video review. Uh, so we want you to put your work into the week two folder or the week number folder. Now you can do that a couple of different ways. You can um, you can go over here to new and go to file upload. And in uh, doing that, you can then navigate to uh, the folder where your uh, video clip is. You're always going to be uploading a video, either a .avi, a .mov, or a .mp4. And uh, you can click on that and hit open, and it will upload that. Um, and take a moment here uh, to uh, to upload that to the folder. And when that's there, uh, a lot of times you'll be able to watch the videos in the uh, web uh, browser, um, but it takes a little while. It takes a minute for it to process. Sometimes it processes it pretty quickly. Most of the time it takes about 10 or 15 minutes. So if I try to click on this like here and it says we're processing this video, please check back later. That's perfectly normal. Um, it's just going to take uh, a few minutes for it to, um, to process. In fact, it looks like this one processed pretty quickly. And now I'm able to uh, play it. So a lot of times you'll be able to play your um, video review straight in the browser uh, just like this. And that's how you'll turn in your work and then uh, you'll look in the review folder for your video review. So um, the one thing, the first thing we want you to do though is um, upload your test image. And that's going to be in your test image. Um, it can be anything. It can be a video. It can be a picture of a bunny off of the internet. It can be a drawing that you've done. There won't be a review for this um, they're just, this is just for us to test to make sure that you can upload things correctly and that we can access them correctly. That way, uh, we know that the sharing is working properly and we know that you're set up on your end to, uh, to be able to turn in your work. So the other way to upload work is to uh, just drag and drop. Now, even if you don't see this um, drop files here, uh, you can still drag and drop things in, but if you just grab this and uh, pull this over to the web page, it will upload uh, that image uh, as well. And then you are, are all set to go. Once you've got that test image in, you're ready to go. You're ready uh, to, um, to turn in your work. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. But otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you in class.